Peace, peace. You know what it is. This your man, S-K-Y-Z-O-O, Sky Zoo, live from the borough. And this is 24-7 HH, my king bars on my record, Bamboo. My man said that he bamboo by the benches. Hand you a cover that handle for the trenches. Custy said his beef in the scramble with his business. Cop one, blam Duke, and it ran Duke out of senses. Clientel spread everything but his name. He even getting Yelp reviews. Shit is insane. The lane he was carving brought him one even wider. Ruthless. Drop Jeeps and 645ers. Ruthless. Eric and Jerry hella conspirers. Like, we gonna get this loot up and want a rumor divide us. Record is called Bamboo. It's a play on the character Bamboo from the movie Strapped. If you know the movie Strapped, starring Bokeem Woodbine and Fredro Starr, it's about gun sales in the hood in Brooklyn and the gun culture and how that works and how they come from one neighborhood and one cloth and fabric and type of people and type of community and infiltrate another one and take over said community while taking money from said community back to community A. Pretty much from A to B and then back from B to A. Hand you a coveted handle for the trenches. Obviously a coveted handle, a gun that's coveted and looked at as some esteem and, and some, some higher piece of something that you praise. Custy said his beef in the scramble with his business. The Custy's a customer. The customer told Bamboo, yo, I got beef in the scramble with my business. Where I'm at getting busy, where I'm working, where I'm hustling, I got a situation. I got beef. I need something. He copped one, blam Duke, and it ran Duke out of senses. Pretty much, he copped the burner from Bamboo and got all that straightened out. Whoever he had a problem with, he got that straightened out. Clientel spread everything but his name. So all his customers is talking about, yo, you get a you get a burner easily over here. You get it, yo. His business is right, everything is straight, you get what you need, his prices is good. Clientel spread everything but his name. So pretty much the hood motto of just keeping it low and not blowing the whistle on nobody. You'll never find out who it is, but if you wanna know, you wanna know. And if you need the cop, then you know who you can go to the cop. Clientel spread everything but his name. They spread the word like, yo quality service it's almost like it's a legit business you know it's like going into a store quality service customer service the way you get your piece the prices the turnaround of what you need and it being clean and everything being right nobody's this that and the third clientele spread everything but his name they don't spread his name they don't say bamboo got him it's just if you know you know the lane he was carving bought him one even wider so it means the lane he's carving out for himself how he's moving, how he's getting what he got to get. He's carving his own lane, doing what he do. That lane that he's carving bought him an even wider lane. Now he can afford to sit in the big boy. Now he can afford to sit in the drop. Drop Jeeps and 645ers. Ruthless, R-O-O-F-L-E-S-S. Then I flip it, Ruthless. Eric and Jerry hella conspire. So now we going Ruthless, R-U-T-H-L-E-S-S. Ruthless is in no regard, thugging and wildin'. Eric and Jerry hella conspire. I'm talking Eric Easy e Jerry Hella. So that goes into Ruthless Records. That goes into the black dude from the hood, living a certain lifestyle, having a true authentic story and a, and a point of no return. And a white dude who's not from that, but learns how to capitalize off that, how to buddy up with this guy, make it seem like they wanted the same, make it seem like they in the pocket together, but he's really just out to exploit him and rip him. So no matter what nobody says to Bamboo about this Jerry Heller type of person, for lack of a better analogy, this Jerry Heller type of person, no matter what nobody says to Bamboo about this, he won't let nothing get in between them. He don't believe it. He's short-sighted. He don't believe in all that people talking. He just know, I work with Sun, I get paid, my lights is on, the drop top come down on my whip, and I'm good to go. So we gonna get this loot up and won't a rumor divide us. Joints laid out in the trunk, look like a lineup. Ask how they got to the K, to no surprises. Dual wholesaling, look nothing like you and I, but you need something to get through the door with no colliding. Funny thing about it, you look inside of his riding, he had a Make America Great hat on the side of him. Typical, clearing out the visuals. You walking with a panther hair for residuals. Joints laid out in the trunk, look like a lineup. In the movie, when he popped the trunk, he had all the burners laid out perfect. So I'm just tying it back to the movie right there. Joints laid out in the trunk, look like a lineup. But then lineup could be a double play, because you're talking lineup with the joints. But then those joints could get you in a lineup in the joint, in jail. Ask how they got to the K. To no surprises, the K is Brooklyn. You say, yo, I'm in the K. That's I'm in Brooklyn. Ask how they got to the K. To no surprises, like how did those burners get to Brooklyn? To no surprises, dude wholesaling, the white dude who's not from the neighborhood, the, the Jerry Heller type or the dude in the movie, 
do wholesaling look nothing like you and I, but you need something to get through the door with no colliding. Like you're going to need somebody who don't look like you and I to get in those doors to get those pieces to bring them back to the hood. So this is the plug. This is the connect. This is who you're getting it through. This is who you need to get from A to Z and everything in between. But when you really dig deep into who dude is, he had a Make America Great hat on the side of him in his car. You look in his car in the passenger seat. He got a Make America Great hat in his car. So you see who he is and what he's about. You know your best interest ain't there. You know what this is. You know he's there to one way or another bring you down, whether he even realizes it or not. He don't care about you. He could care less about you, Bamboo. All he want to do is get busy. He want to get busy off of you and keep it moving and keep it pushing. Like, yeah, that's typical. Yep. Yep. Absolutely. Typical. Clearing out the visuals. Now you see it better. So Bamboo is turning around saying, listen, man, like, I get it. Yeah, that's typical. I hear you. But as you walking with a panther, as you a black panther with your fist in the air, going for it, standing on your soapbox preaching, or are you getting this money? Which one is it? And bamboo, you can see what side of the fence he's on. If you're having this conversation with this bamboo person, it's like, okay, we get it. We get who this dude is. White dude doesn't give a fuck about us, doesn't care about us. He's bringing these to the hood. He's pretty much harming us and taking our money at the same time. But we need these to move, to survive, to have money, to defend ourselves, to be able to support our lifestyle, whatever it may be. But are you here to be on your militant stand on your soapbox or are you here to get this money? And that's the conversation you would be having, the, the hypothetical conversation you'd be having with the bamboo character. He said that they don't make them in the style or the D or the shy, but believe if they flying, I'm a sling a few. Believe me when I say my man said that he bamboo on the steps. Tell him what you can or can't do for a tech. My man said that he bamboo on the steps. One by one, hand in hand, what is connect? My man said that he bamboo on the steps. Tell him what you can or can't do for a tech. My man said that he bamboo on the steps. A24, he done ran through what was left. One, two. The record is a play on the character Bamboo. That was Fredro Star. And he was a gun seller in the hood. He had guns. He had burners for sale. He was getting them from the, from the, from the connect. That's the second verse from that record. So it pretty much gets into the meat of it. The first verse is like the intro, but the second verse really brings it home. Bamboo said, he said that they don't make them in the style or the D or the shy. Because they don't make these guns in, in the D. They don't make these guns in the style. They don't make these guns in Chicago. You know, they don't make them in these urban environments. But believe, if they flying in and out of these urban environments, I'm going to be there to get the money off it. I'm telling, I'm getting you back into this story. Believe me when I say my man said that he bamboo on the steps. Because the whole record is me telling the listener a story about conversations that I had with my man who's like a bamboo. So the record is like I'm talking about my man who's a bamboo type. And we, I'm, I'm telling you these conversations, I'm briefing you on these conversations that my man and I have had about how these situations go on. The end of the, of the, of the part that I spit right there is the hook. My man said that he bamboo on the steps. A24, he done ran through what was left. One, two. So every 24 hours, he done blew through whatever he got. A24, he done ran through what was left. One, two. Moving like one, two. One, two. They out. In and out. In and out. That's Bamboo, produced by Mark Infinite, with additional trumpet work by my bro, Sean Taylor. It's one of my favorite records that I've done in a long time. It's a record called Bamboo. It's off my new EP, Peddler Themes, out in July. It's a special record. It speaks on what's going on now. It's hard. It's gritty. It's raw. But uh, when you get past how raw and how hard the record is, you get to what it means. You get to the symbolism of it. You get to the importance of it and what it means for this generation, the generation before us and the generation after us. You know, it's kind of like even though it's a new record, it can reflect on what's happened in the past, what happens in the present. And hopefully what doesn't happen will probably will happen in the future. 